welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today we're going to learn how to make Ninja Foodi chicken enchiladas. These can also be made as air fryer chicken enchiladas. Either one is going to work for this recipe. So the first thing we're going to need are ingredients, of course. So we will need two cups of cooked and shredded chicken, two tablespoons of taco seasoning, eight gluten-free or regular tortillas, usually soft taco size or burrito size will work, one can of black beans, this needs to be both drained and rinsed, a can of diced tomatoes, drained, and mild chopped diced chilies, 10 ounces of red enchilada sauce, and then shredded cheddar cheese, and toppings such as sour cream or cilantro, whatever you might want. So the first thing you're gonna do is use your cooked chicken and combine that with the taco seasoning in a medium-sized bowl. You're just fully coating that chicken. Now I used um, chicken thighs. You can use either chicken thighs or chicken breast, totally up to you. So I am doing that now. And I will link to how I cook the chicken too. I used my multi-cooker and did the pressure cooker function to cook the chicken. You can also use grilled chicken or whatever you prefer. Leftover chicken works great for these. It's a great way to use up um, leftover chicken into a different meal. So once I get those all done, I'm going to build my enchilada. Now I'm using um, the chicken and then beans, tomatoes, and chilies. Now you can add to or take away from this too. So you can really use whatever ingredients you want in your enchilada. This is just how we tend to do it. So I'm getting all that built and then I'm gonna put it into the air fryer basket. Now I'm using a Ninja Grill air fryer for this one. So as you can see, I'm pouring the enchilada sauce on top, but I am using a foil lined basket here. So I have my enchiladas in the foil and I rolled the foil up on the side so the air still circulates, but this just makes it a lot less mess. Now you don't have to do this, I like to do it because when it's done, I just pull the foil straight out in my enchiladas and it comes right out. Now you could use a basket if you wanted to, or sorry, a pan if you wanted to that fit your air fryer. It's totally up to you. This just happens to be the way I've always done this. So now once I've got that in there, I'm just going to add the shredded cheddar cheese. So I'm just doing a mix of um, the Fiesta blend cheddar cheese. Now you can also use a block of cheese and shred it yourself. That's actually what I like to do because it melts the best. Um, this is just pre-shredded cheese though. So I've got all that in there and now I'm going to use the air fryer and cook it at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. If you're using the Ninja Foodi, it would be the air crisp function or with the air fryer, it's just the air fryer function. The only thing you're really doing here is crisping up the, the tortillas just a bit and then melting the cheese. So it's really simple to make. So I've got mine all done here and we're just pulling these out. I've pulled the foil straight out of the air fryer. Of course it's hot, so be careful when you pull it out. And then I just cut them apart. So this usually makes about five. I normally end up doing two batches. So this is the Ninja Foodi chicken enchiladas, all ready to go. We like a lot of cheese. You don't have to use this much cheese. You could go with no cheese and just top it with um, queso if you wanted to as well. So I also have a link that I'm going to link here below for Ninja Foodi beef enchiladas too, or air fryer beef enchiladas. You can make those the same way. So you can find this full recipe over on mommyhatescooking.com. I have enough recipes to keep you busy for days, weeks, months. I have tons of Ninja Foodi recipes, so check them out and like or subscribe so that you don't miss the next video.